It's been 43 years since I broke my neck at 17 years of age. I've accomplished a lot of things since then. Three weeks ago, I was told that I have lung cancer. I called my daughter and told her about it. She asked me what I wanted to do next. She said, Daddy, you spent your whole life doing the things other people just talk about doing. She said, what about that comedy show you always wanted to do? Okay, baby girl, let's do it. Good evening, Oklahoma City. <laughs> My name is Bill Nichols. I've always wanted to do stand-up comedy. And as you can see, I'm halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Bill. Hi, Hi Bill. Bill. Glad you're here. Glad, Glad you're here. here. Tonight we're going to laugh. Tonight we're going to laugh. laugh. At the disabled. At the disabled. <laughs> you see, you can laugh about it, but you can't hardly say it now, can you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm C5 quad, which means I'm paralyzed from the neck down. I, uh, I've always kind of thought that was a strange thing to say. What would it be like if someone was paralyzed for the neck down? <laughs> <laughs> I know a few. Um, <laughs> I rode over here with one. <laughs> wow, Bill, what'd you do? I ran into a concrete bridge at 140 miles an hour. His eyes got really big and he went, Wow, Bill, how'd you learn how to run that fast? <laughs> <laughs> that shirt inspired a t-shirt that I'm wearing tonight. Here comes quad, brace yourself. <laughs> but I've never drove drunk. And it's not because I was afraid of having another wreck for a totally different reason. I can tell you in three words. Field sobriety test. <laughs> <laughs> what do they ask you to do? I want you to walk this straight line. <laughs> Put your left heel in front of your right toes. I'm going to jail. <laughs> the other one, tilt your head back and touch your nose with your index finger. I'm going to jail for a long time. <laughs> the other was lift your foot six inches up off the ground. Gee, I'm going to penitentiary. <laughs> <laughs> Had lots of adventures. I'm an adventurous guy. Kind of but if any of you decide that you want to go to Skyline, do not wear a yellow jumpsuit. I only have four pictures where you can't see the brown spot in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Hair, I had pictures. <laughs> 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 
anyway. His arms are folded. He's tilted her head back. And she says, How long do you need to be? I thought to myself, I take medication, so I don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> but I think um, I don't want to disappoint her. So I don't know. Probably as, for as long as you want me to. She mm -hmm. says, well, good. If I give you 50 cents, can I throw in my laundry? <laughs> <laughs> Kid, there's two things you can do. Get down from there before you break your neck. <laughs> or get that out of your hand before you poke someone's eye. There you go. Don't want to keep a fork around. It's a sharp object. I don't want to take it from blind too. You know, I had to read Braille, I'd probably burn my fingers on a waffle iron. <laughs> I stole that. <laughs> when she wasn't looking. <laughs> well, she said she was with Betty Year in Arkansas. I said, really? I said, did you know that's the only state mentioned in the Bible? <laughs> she goes, no, I didn't. And I said, yep. Yeah. It says, Noah looked out the Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> I think I do remember. Oh, that's not all of it. These are just the highlights. <laughs> they were flipped over the weather channel, so the national radar. And I looked over there at her and I said, you see over there in California where it says 78 degrees today in Los Angeles? Yeah. And so you see a little box almost right next to it. It's got a last in it. And the high is going to be 30, 40 degrees. Yes, yeah. I said, I wonder why it is it's so cold in Alaska and it's nice sunny in L.A when they're so close together. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, I think it has something to do with El Nino. I'm laying there on the side and she said, or, I said, do I have any, any new boo-boos? So how's my butt look? <laughs> <laughs> she says, butt looks good then. <laughs> and so I said, you should see me in spandex. <laughs> <laughs> she says to me, well, why do you wake up in such a good mood? Every day, every day you're a good mood. And my response to her was, it's because I woke up. <laughs> The worst offenders are golfers. I didn't think of that. But of course, I did. <laughs> think about it, everything. Golfers ride around all day long in their great big fancy cart, what they call. Actually, it's a big power chair. <laughs> One of them called the little sweeper on there. They park it in park. They can walk. But what do they do while they're there? Or when they're in the club? They say, what's your handicap? What's your handicap? <laughs> I'll tell you what, if some of you folks ever want to have some fun on a Sunday morning, bring a video camera, they'll toss me into my chair, and I'll go up to every one of them and say, what's your handicap? What's your handicap? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got it. Thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. Important for me. Peace and love. Pass it on.